Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Hannah from the book Copy and Paste Painting. Today we're going to do part two, working in oils with your boat scene. So if you don't have the book yet, I suggest you go to my website and make a purchase over there. This is great fun. I've done my base colors in acrylic. What I want to start doing is I want to start with the background. So I'm going to do my palette preparation with oranges, yellows, some blues, some purples, some reds to get create those pink colors and your and I normally have that on my palette anyways, the burnt sienna, burnt umber to tone down. Some of the colors, yellow, purple will tone each other down, blue and orange will tone each other down. I always suggest that you work from the back to the front when you are working in oil with your acrylic of course it dries a lot quicker so you can work anywhere um, but if you work in your oil and this is wet you are going to be working over that and that's where your earbud comes in handy that you can just clean out the areas there so that you don't lose your figure so that's the reason for that if I do this first then I have to wait for this to dry and then I have to do the background and then I probably have to touch up on the figure because I will be touching on that. Um, you need to touch on it because you need that integration of your paint. You can't, people try and paint up to there but it's really hard to do that. You need that continuous flow of color in your, in your background. So that's the reason why I do it like that. Um, palette preparation, I've done that got a cadmium yellow I've added this uh, cadmium yellow U it's a Windsor and Newton color you'll see that there's a slight a little bit more on the orange side then I've also added a brilliant red and I've got an, my orange cat and my cadmium yellow my laser and crimson three blobs of white I've got the ultramarine I've got my cobalt blue and I've got a primary cyan and I've got a cobalt violet. I have burnt sienna, pines gray, and burnt umber. So these colors I'm going to mix now and try and get as close as possible to the colors of the clouds and the colors of the horizon clouds over here. I'm gonna be using a lot of white and again refer to your color wheel if you need to tone down a color if it's too bright if you are scared to do this and you think it, it won't work for you what i suggest is that you try first of all okay just give it a go try if it looks crappy and you are not satisfied with it you can use clean turps and you can actually uh, go and take your pa uh, paper towel and you can rub out the colors if you're not satisfied with it and then you can do sort of more a blending from a dark to a lighter color or a darker blues over here and come in with a bit of lighter colors but that is up to you to experiment and to see what you can do with that i am really going to try and replicate what i've done here before like I said, it's really even difficult for me to copy my own things. But I'm going to give it a go. Um, I'm going to make some colors. And then I'm going to apply those colors. Um, looking over there, sort of getting an average distance from there. And just plot out where those colors are. I will be applying it with a palette knife. And... It will be little blobs of paint everywhere. Okay, this far is how far I got now. I have mixed a whole lot of colors here, a little bit, little bit, little bit, and I've taken my um, palette knife, put a little bit of paint on there, and very softly, very thin, sort of just to see where the colors are. Put them on. Get a brush that you feel comfortable with um, doing this. Let's get on with this one. 
smaller one and I'm lightly stroking those colors on there. I am not using any turps or anything because that I don't want the paint to be runny, I want it to be quite hard and um, well not hard but I don't want it to be flowy, I want it to be workable. I'm working flat with my brush and uh, if you want to know how I got those blending brushes this brush will end up being a blending brush because if you work like this you're actually wearing off the, the hair on your brush. compare your color like that still too blue and it's very dark so I'll add more white oh it's still too blue now to tone down a blue complementary color it would be orange so Burnt Sienna is like an orangey color, but a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. Okay, if you're mixing too much, then it will change the color. You don't want it to change to Burnt Sienna. You just want to tone down that color. That's what you want to do. Because this is not wet, so I can go, I can get up and close to those lines even over them if you feel like you're going to lose that you take your earbud and you just clean that area there I don't often work with round tip brushes but I have found this one in my collection it is well worked so I'm going to carry on with the round tip yeah but dipping tips dab so that it's not overloaded with and drag it across there so that you don't lose your moss. I've created my background now. I can still work on it, it's still a bit wet. I can go over that and dab a few more colors here and there. I have cleaned my boat's moss. Um, now I'm not going to demo the rest of, of this because I'm sure that by now you should be able to, to do the rest of the boat and the figures and that um, on your own. And like I say, please, this is really about what you can do and how you want to do it and your interpretation of this painting. I've given you the basic things. It's now for you to create and experiment. And like I said, you can also change some of the colors. You can decide to use different colors on the boat or on the caps. You can do the background differently. That doesn't really matter. 
it's all about experimenting and learning in the process. What I find that is if you come back the next day and it's dry and sometimes you can fiddle and fiddle and fiddle like I'm doing now <laughs> and um, it doesn't feel like I'm getting anywhere but uh, if you leave this to dry and tomorrow you come back you will find it that it is actually a lot easier to get your second layer on here don't judge your picture as yet because this might look completely weird now once you have painted your little fisherman and the boat and the water and the bush and the little bit of the beach over there this all will come together and also the other thing that's very distracting at the moment is all this blobs on the side here once you remove that you will only see the the end result but it was great fun i hope you had fun please like my channel and subscribe at the bottom so that you can get more of my annoying videos please okay have fun ciao